On the way home from work, I had to have a stop off here. I looked out the window on the drive back and the conditions were just too good. As I was walking across the bridge, I saw a nice little school as well. So I thought I'd have a cast with the old um, CID shiver stick in gold. Perfect for these overcast conditions. And when the tide is full like this and the water's not racing through, right on that turn of the tide, you can cast pretty close to these poles and structure, increasing the chances of one of those big dogs. As it gets a bit colder in the water, like Mulloway, uh, the bigger tail I like to be able to cruise amongst the poles and find bait without having to fight the tide. So you can often find some big chunky ones on that turn. I've got pretty tight drag for the line class here, trying to navigate and not get busted off by these poles. Good fun. There's a few people under the bridge today and this young fella brought his esky, so he's keen for a feed. So he's happy with this one. I was using my uh, 1 to 3 Veritas 2500 CI4 Stratic and 8 pound uh, braid and 8 pound leader. A little bit higher, I guess breaking strengths would have been probably better with the structure here, but still perfect for yeah. this setup. This one was taken on the surface. Good fun. They're a schooling fish, so when they're around you want to capitalise. Another nice chunky one. This one was probably a little bit skinnier than the other one. Here I think I let the braid touch the um, wooden post and it just snapped straight away. Rookie error for me. Right in there, yeah. It's going to happen when you're fishing the light braid around all the structure though. That's what makes it fun as well. quickly tied on again with the eight pound leader I just did a double uni knot nice and quick underneath the bridge this is the same sort of setup I used to abide for brim around the bridge so um, a bit of an all-purpose tied on a 10 gram buckaboo. Thought I'd have a little fun with this one. You can cast these a mile and give them a lot of action. So I usually cast it out as far as I can, let it sink for about four or five seconds medium to fast retrieve yeah, and whip it out. from side to side. Pause, whip it from side to side. Not as big as the others, but still a bit of fun. Tackers, then I change it up. I also let a couple of the other guys under the bridge borrow some of the CID shiver sticks as well. Yeah, just, just 
little one on a buckaboo. This mate was using one of the um, silver with the rooster redhead. I had this one rig with just a single one. fellow that was taking the fish had a little 14 gram shiver stick that I let him borrow and he got onto a tar wine and a couple of little tailor as well. Then took back my uh, shiver stick. Right on sunset. follow there. Yeah. Here's a chunky one. Uh, I had the uh, single hook set up. Jim. The same single yeah. hook that I was using last year that I really didn't like. I forgot to take it off this lure. I'd definitely go with your sort of BKK or owner. This was that brand that I didn't like. Um, I changed this immediately as soon as I got home. Another little follow there. Then a fellow I was chatting to under the bridge, Jordan, uh, cast just where I lost the fish and hooked up a nice one. You can see the big splashes as he drags it past me. I think it measured up to around 54 centimetres. It was a cracker. Either way, great session to be out there and good to see him catch a nice one. For more Perth Metro, Taylor Fishing, please subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section.